US Special Forces on a mission. But just two men in charge of an elite unit of Congolese troops. This area is as remote and dense as jungle gets. We're heading to where the DRC borders the Central African Republic. The US Special Forces team, which we've been given rare access to, is part of the search for the remnants of a rebel militia. The Lord's Resistance Army was driven out of northern Uganda, and their fighters now live deep in the jungle. The ultimate propaganda prize for these soldiers, part of a multinational mission, is to capture the LRA's infamous leader. The wanted man is Joseph Kony, charged with abducting huge numbers of children, forcing them to kill and mutilate innocent victims. So they operate uh, or exist in an area about the size of the state of uh, California in the United States. But US commanders say finding him is now almost a needle in a haystack exercise. It is getting close to that level as the, as the LRA gets smaller and smaller and, and moves into survival mode. Uh, and the, that is going to present us with a, a, ch a challenge in terms of finding him. But even though their mission is hard, by American standards, this is a small-scale investment of military manpower and money. This is the opposite of a visible boots-on-the-ground strategy. There are around 140 US military personnel in this region of Africa at any one time. And therefore, any of the negative connotations often associated with large-scale troop deployments just simply don't apply here. So the US Special Forces team is training these Congolese and Ugandan forces so they can take on domestic threats like the LRA but also police the region and fight groups that threaten American interests too. Our priority as we engage on this is not so much to find Kony specifically, it's to assist the regional states to develop the capability to manage a problem like Kony and ultimately to find him. LZ marked by VS-17. Over. And the capacity of Congolese troops is greatly enhanced by their American allies. We saw no sign of the LRA on a two-day reconnaissance mission. But while they search, this small unit of US Special Forces is cultivating close military partners in Central Africa. Tom Burridge, BBC News, in the Democratic Republic of Congo.